that we have uh, service used to take place on Saturdays and then we took it on Sundays so uh, praise the Lord right let's give him glory for that uh, service can take place at any time of the week it can be um, on a weekday on a Monday it could be on a Tuesday Wednesday and it could be on a Saturday it also can be on a Sunday. So it doesn't matter what time, what hour, and what week of the day we have a service, as long as we have that service, right? I want to thank the Lord this morning for the word he's given us. Today I want to read on Rejoice. Uh, first I want to say joy and joy and come with us. Joy, 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 joy and come with us. Um, I'm reading from um, Jeremiah 31 4 that's where we I will be reading from uh, but in my PowerPoint I have here uh, joy comes in the morning and uh, we all know the scripture joy comes in the morning we will be reading that in the next uh, couple of scriptures uh, but I'm going to give you a little bit of the uh, background of this scripture what is joy? Joy is uh, being happy, right? Joy uh, is uh, rejoicing and dance. Joy could be uh, when someone gets married. Joy could be where the baby is born, right? Uh, joy uh, could be when there's good news. Joy also could relate in a um, uh, community gathering, um, community uh, connection. Uh, so joy comes in many ways. The word joy is really awesome because, and I have joy. See, I have the garment joy. It's called joy. It has all different kind of colors, and so it kind of uh, brings out uh, the word joy. Colors that uh, represent joy uh, would be um, oranges, those are joys, yellows are joys, although we know that um, the color yellow represents uh, glory, with that it connects the word joy, amen? Uh, we have purples, we have purples, we have greens, uh, we have um, uh, different colors. 
colors that will represent joy. Um, roses and pinks, uh, still I know it means love, but again, joy. Any colors that are bright, vibrant are joy. Especially yellow, of course, and orange together with red. It seems to be that a lot of people speak about those colors being fire, but again, it brings joy. Let's say joy in our hearts right now, come on. Say it with me, joy in my heart. <laughs> Amen, I'm so glad you're joining me today. And uh, in my PowerPoint, it reads here, weeping my, uh, my terror for the night, but joy comes with the morning yes also further just little parts of uh, uh, scriptures to you O Lord I cry and to the Lord I plead for mercy and then it says what prophet is there in my dear if I go down to the pit while the dust please you okay so then further down these are just the little words of scriptures will it tell of your faithfulness and then it says here O oh Lord and be merciful to me, O oh Lord, by my helper. And I love this part of the scripture right here. Joy comes. Joy comes. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have loosened my sackcloth. This is just uh, small parts of scriptures that I'm reading from. Well, let's go into the full scriptures now. You know, joy does come in the morning. And as of yesterday, uh, which it was Saturday, uh, the 25th of 2020, I wanted to bring the year beginning from Friday to Saturday we had a 24-hour prayer watch and it was powerful and after that watch I felt led to bring joy because we're going through a time of prayer and fast and worship and um, when we're praying it's uh, very intense yeah well, do, do you ever felt that way when you're praying, it's very intense, and it's uh, I mean, one prayer after the other, and you're praying for the nations, uh, the countries, uh, you're praying for leadership, you're praying for uh, many things that God is calling you to pray, and suddenly a prayer of hospital come in, and it becomes intense, and, and then uh, a prayer of the orphans come in, and stronger and, and then now you're praying for uh, you know destruction and confusion and things that are out there and you're praying for things that uh, you didn't think you would pray for uh, one of the things that come along is wow, prayer for your children prayer for yourself and prayer for your children and you say this is hard. Yeah, it's one of the hardest prayer to pray for your family. But you need to keep going and pressing through. So this is what we did yesterday. We prayed for 24 hours. We started uh, Friday the 25th uh, to uh, the 24th. Forgive me, let me correct that. Uh, Friday the 24th. And we carried it on to uh, Saturday the 25th. And we stopped it for 24 hours at 6 p.m. It was uh, powerful. The prayer just kept going. And it was
was just amazing what the Lord uh, did in so many lives. Sharing that with you right now, uh, because today we're sharing joy comes in the morning. After praying for so many things God had called us to pray, I want to say that joy comes in the morning. And I couldn't let this pass by. I couldn't allow this to go by. I had to really bring a message of joy in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and read on Jeremiah 31 4. And this is the very first one I want to read on. And so let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Jeremiah 31 4. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me. Praise the Lord. I am going to be reading, praise God, from Jeremiah 31, verse 4. So Jeremiah 31, verse 4, and it reads, the word of the Lord comes from Jeremiah 31, 4. Praise the Lord. Again, I will build thee, and thy shall be built. O virgin of Israel, thy shall be adorned with thy tabret and shall go forth in the dance of them that makes merry. Now, this is a great scripture coming from Jeremiah, uh, speaking again about the building of the church. And of course, rejoicing in our Lord and Savior. And again, the message is joy comes joy comes when we're reading Jeremiah again I will build thee is building the church building the body of Christ where we have been called to be built Christ Jesus called it out we are to be built for the kingdom of God praise the Lord let's go ahead and read from Jeremiah 31 13 Hallelujah. Jeremiah 31 13 are there with me okay then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance both young man and old together for I will turn thy mourning into joy again together let's say joy comes amen and will comfort them and make them rejoice from thy sorrows there are sorrows there are pain there are things that are happening in our lives and this is why joy comes because the sorrows hurt, but after we get joy through all. Let's go ahead and continue to read. Let's go ahead and now read from Psalms 30, verse 11. Oh, it's getting better. Just hold on. <laughs> it's getting better. Okay. Okay, now we are on 30. Psalm 30, verse 11. Thy has turned my mourning into dancing. Thy has put off my sackcloth and gird me with gladness. Now, what are we talking about here? Mm. Thy has turned, my God, hallelujah. Thy has turned 
for me in my morning into dancing, worshiping and praising in the Lord. Hallelujah. So no more sackcloth, okay? Uh, no more sackcloth, no more uncomfortableness because we go through a season of pain and uncomfortableness and, and trouble and things that are happening around the atmosphere as we all know we are going through lots of things whether you're in the USA or out of the United States of America I mean you know we have this horrible thing that crossed our path in our area and we need to overcome all the things that tries to hinder us if there's something that's hindering us we need to go through it and we need to go and to the father and say Lord this is what I need you to remove from me he will give you joy in the morning come on with me repeat it joy comes hallelujah that's the title of it joy comes joy comes hallelujah in the morning Hallelujah. let's go ahead and read to the end that my glory may sing praises to thee and not be silenced, O Lord, my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. And there it helps us to understand and help us not only to see what God is doing in us, because he is doing so much in us, but that we can see ourselves having joy. Again, joy comes, hallelujah joy comes i just thank the lord hallelujah for the joy of the lord for the joy of god you know we went through that season or that time but joy always comes come on say it with me joy comes Hallelujah! praise the lord god is so good we're gonna go to now isaiah and we're almost done praise god isaiah 51 11 let's go there Hallelujah. And we're coming back to this one because this is good. Huh. Rejoice. Rejoice, Lord God. Hallelujah. Again, Isaiah. So I'll give you some time to get open your Bible. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good all the time, right? He is wonderful. Praise the Lord. Isaiah. Here we go. Isaiah 51, 11. So Isaiah 51, 11. Okay, so here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing into Zion. And everlasting joy shall be upon thy head. Thy shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow. And mourning shall flee away. Hallelujah. Again, joy comes. Joy comes. Hallelujah. Joy comes in the morning. I shared a few, a few scriptures. I shared um, a bit about joy, the colors, uh, what God has called us to do in a time of trouble. I shared the things that God has placed in our hearts from the beginning. Do we know it? Do we see it? Do we feel it? Are we acting it? Joy is a word that we can live. Again, come on, say it with me. Joy comes. That's the title. I, I called it Joy Comes. That's it. Joy comes. Because joy comes in the morning. The scriptures that I gave you earlier... Hallelujah. I pray that you can go ahead and reflect in them, read them, enjoy them. Know that God is with you always. He never will leave you. He, know, he won't forsake you. He's with you today, tomorrow, and always. I'm so grateful that the Lord, hallelujah, had this meeting this morning with me and with you. We put on songs and worship. I'm going to go ahead and put more worship praise the Lord I thank God 
that we could worship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God, it's awesome. Come on, say joy comes. Joy comes. If you're with me, joy comes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So there we have a few scriptures. We shared a few scriptures. It's a short service we're having. Again, being that yesterday, we had um, prayer, the 24th. We started at 6 p.m. And we started prayer and intercession. I think it's so powerful. Praise the Lord. And we ended on the 25th. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I thank God. Hallelujah. What he's not only doing with the ministry, but what he's doing in us. Amen. Praise the Lord. God Almighty. He's awesome and he's wonderful. With that, I'm going to leave you with a blessing and thank you for joining me. Again, thank you for joining Yona Adi International. And thank you for joining Havad. Havad meaning worship and serve the King, the Lord God Almighty. Let me close in prayer as you are there. If you're hearing me, if you're listening, or if you're seeing this video, I pray a blessing upon you. And this morning, I want to leave you with that joy. Joy comes. Joy comes in the morning. That's right. You have turned my morning into dancing. You have loosened my sackcloth. That's right. Say it with me. You have loosened my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness that my glory may sing your praises and not be silent. Oh Lord, my God, I will give you thanks to you forever. Can you say that with me? Forever. If you are joining me this morning, I want to pray. And I want to send you with a blessing. Hallelujah. I want to send you with a blessing. Hallelujah. My name is Dr. Maricela Alia. And I walk as an apostle of Jesus Christ. And I pray that the Lord will bless you as you continue the awesome ministry that the Lord has given you. Thank you for joining Yona Adi International as I mentioned earlier. Thank you for connecting with us. I pray we stay connected forevermore. Father, we thank you this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, wherever this video goes to, wherever this scripture, these scriptures, this word goes to, Lord. I pray a blessing upon every single person, my God, that have opened their ears to you and have asked for eyes to see in the spiritual realm God, I pray, Father, that you will bless every single person that hears this. Father, I pray a blessing upon them as I always pray in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening and send you with a shalom blessing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his awesome, wonderful, marvelous face upon you and give you his awesome, blessed shalom 